Hey y'all, here's an annoying windy update. But look at this. Everything's froze. Duckweed and ice. <laughs> you can see there's a blob right there, some stuff and some midge fly larvae frozen. Well, this is interesting. Frozen. Frozen. The one with the bubbler, not frozen. This one over here. Just past the one with the bubbler. Frozen solid. Mm-mm-mm. This tub over here. Also with the bubbler. Not frozen. That's a cow. Horse. Horse. But yeah, guys. Just thought that was kind of interesting. Keep your stuff from freezing solid. By using a bubbler. Pretty sure somebody out there already knew that, but... Just thought it would be an interesting thing to share with y'all. But yeah, it is frozen out here. This grass is starting to thaw out. You know, it's the end of the day. It's about 4.30. Cleaned out all the junk. It wasn't my decision, but... You know, when you share a space. Yeah, man. I kind of want to kick on the pump and see what happens. The hose doesn't have any water in it. But theoretically, it should work. Now, bear with me. I don't have my tripod handy. Let's see what I'm doing. I'm trying to plug this in in this busted bucket. Survivors. Well, tells me something's wrong with the pump. Yeah, the pump. Oh no, it is. See the water coming up? These sponges are all frozen solid! Oh look at that! Water's coming out! Oh dang them! That's funny. The pipe, the pump is nice and quiet. I mean it is insulated by all that water. Start with the crap test of views and probably the water stuff. I wonder if it's gonna flood. I wonder if it'll just build up on top of the ice. That ice is thick. This this container is the one furthest in the water. I mean in the wind in the water. It looked like it just cut right through. But look at this. So it's building up over there, and over here it's draining out. I'm going to turn it off because otherwise it's going to get all the water too cold. Just a second. Alright, now so some of the science behind that, the reason why I turned it off, is if the water is circulating through, especially with this fall right here, it's going to cool it off a lot quicker, and right now, the ice on the top is actually insulating the water underneath. Because with the ice on the top, it's making it harder for the heat that's trapped in the water underneath of it to escape because it has to go up through the ice. Now it will, but that's typically the reason why on lakes, just the surface freezes and the bottom stays a big bubble of water. If you've ever dealt with icy water, the water closest to the ice is bone is just ooh, cold and then the closer you get to the bottom the warmer it is because remember the natural temperature underneath the ground is like around 60 degrees fahrenheit and uh yeah 
So here's an interesting thing. You can see the water is bleeding back. So it's going back, draining from that tank, going through all these tanks and back to here. That's part of the other thing is you would take all the warmth that's trapped in this water and that water and you'd circulate it and bring it up through the top and causes issues. I was afraid of that happening in that tank, but luckily the bubbler is mostly just circulating that edge and that tank is out of the wind. It's got this barn blocking the wind and then this barn blocking it because that's south. That's the bitter north. That's where all the cold comes from. That's a one-eyed cat. But yeah. Just a little bit of information. I'm going to drain this pipe because I don't want this pipe to freeze and explode. As you can see, the tarp is gone. It's over there. It uh, it didn't do so well. We have to come up with a better idea. I think the nice thing is since I got most of this set up, I won't have to be in the heat as long during the summer. Hopefully I'll do better. I'll just have to plant crops that are more heat resistant. Yeah, I'll check this guy out. <laughs> My brother planted grass in it. It's funny because the grass is just floating on an algae cloud. And it's doing pretty well. I'm rather surprised by that. But yeah. Just a little experiment thing. Oh yeah, and this guy's still growing, man. This thing's been growing in here. This was a kitchen cutoff, you know? It's bok choy. We cut off the bottom and I took just the very, very core of the bottom stuck it in there and he's grown he's been frozen a couple of times and he's still going he's pretty frozen again yeah but yeah it's interesting but yeah but happy day guys hope the wind isn't too bad for this video enjoy have a good time